gold and silver both traded in range yesterday with a slight bearish bias now what to expect today are we going to see a reversal and are they going to rise or can we expect another round of good drop which position we should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit so do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon the next update on gold will be released before the us cash session so do watch that also let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver so do watch till the end do listen to it carefully and do note down the levels now these are the early charts for gold and you can find out it is trying to trade within this channel which it is created and this is an expanding triangle if you connect the dot this is an expanding triangle indicating it is still bullishness left in it and it is probably uh, trying to trade in range probably a bounce back can be seen once it trades beyond this zone at 1745 levels yes above 1745 you can buy but then expect 1749.50 as the first resistance and beyond that 1755 levels to be seen so this is one part to it buy at 1745 then probably you can expect a good rise at the same time one must not forget that if it breaks below this zone at 1737 you may see a little draw for 1735 and then 1730 levels so in between 17 37 and 1745 we have to remain cautious the directional movement not indicative of anything stochastic trading at highs and trying to reverse here the MACD is bearish RSI is also looking downwards and if you look at the two hour charts likewise on the two hour charts you'll find see this so I'll wait for it to breach past 1737 till that time I will not consider this as bearish it is still in this expanding triangle probably we can see a little more bullishness here but see this is on the nearby term or rather I will say near term if you see the longer term charts you will find gold is trying to trade in this and this also makes 1745 is a very good level for it to breach pass by and trade in bullish zone else it is still looking downwards and if it continues to trade below 1737 you can expect another round of good drop at least 1735 should be a good support below that you can expect 1730 and below that a good break can be expected so safe traders are rather avoid trading between 1735 and 1745 the $10 zone the directional movement is bearish trying to converge a bit the stochastic is trading at bottom trying to bounce back the MACD is in green the RSI is looking downwards here and if you look at the 3 hour charts likewise on the 3 hour charts so similar is the observation uh, drop retracement drop this is the first red candle I'll wait for the second red candle to appear 1737 should be certainly a good support and rather I will say 1735 should be a good support below that only you can expect another round of good drop till towards 1730-1725 level so do not trade between 1735-45 zone directional movement is bearish stochastic trading at bottom the MACD is in green the RSI looking downwards and if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts also similar is the observation there 2 red candles one green and then another red candle to follow I'll wait for the next candle which direction it go goes right now it appears that this candle may try to bring it till towards 1737 levels sell at 1735 and then below that you can expect a good drop buy at 45 and then you can expect a good rise very simple directional movement not indicative of anything stock is trading at bottom the MACD is in bearish zone right now probably looking forward to cross over RSI looking downwards and likewise on the daily charts now look at the daily charts here one must not forget that previous candle has shown higher lows and also lower highs so yes this is a consolidation zone here if you buy at 1745 one must not forget 1748.50 zone if it breaks beyond 1750 no one can stop it from flying till 1755 60 and plus plus levels also are possible hence you need to trade with extra caution there you have to wait for the zone remains same and if you look at the directional movement is bullish it is trying to convert the stochastic trading oversold the MACD has crossed over and this crossed over is happening at a high and it is divergent indicating that little bearishness but wait for it to sustain this wait for it for next candle that is tomorrow and probably beyond that you can decide which direction it takes right now it is taken a bearish cross RSI is trading at bottom so considering this for the day in between 35 and 45 do not take any position above 45 you can buy but then 
be cautious of 4850 zone beyond 4850 if it trades definitely we may see 1755 and beyond that it is going to fly high if it breaks or sustains beyond 1755 it is going to fly high for 1765 levels so take your trades accordingly on the downside once it breaks below 35 30 is the first support below 1730 you can expect another round of good drop where we can expect it to hit 1724 1720 levels Take your trades accordingly, trade with the stop loss, trade with the trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at silver and yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, join my mentorship batch. The last batch of this year is going to start on 28th of November. Be a part of it. Do not miss this opportunity. Equip yourself with the tools and the strategy for you to become a profitable trader and begin your new year with confidence and the right support and right tools and techniques available with you. Reach out to me for more details. My email id is mentioned in the ch channel description also my telegram id is mentioned in the channel description reach out to me for more details also you can be part of my signals channel where trading as per the signals definitely you can benefit now let's have a look at the silver's chart now on the charts here silver you can find out see likewise what we saw on gold we can see here on the silver as well 2100 is very very good support and below 2100 you can find out till 2090 i will not recommend you to sell silver below 2090 only you can expect that a good round of drop can be expected at the same time beyond 2115 yes you can expect 2120 rather i will say beyond 2120 you can take a good ride till towards 2140 level so in between 2190 and 2120 uh, 2090 and 2120 you have to be extra cautious the directional movement not indicative is stochastic dropping from the overbought levels. The MACD is bearish. The RSI is again looking downwards here. Also on the 2 hour charts if you look at. Now see on the 2 hour charts it is showing you a swing here. But at the same time one must not forget it is. See 1, 2, 3 multiple candles getting the support at precisely this trend line. Indicating that it is still trying to trade bullish. Hence you can try to buy at 21.15 but then expect 21.20. 2130 2140 level should be seen as a stronger resistance on the upside at the same time trading below 21 dollars yes it will bring little more bearishness however you have to remain cautious till 2090 2090 is a major support for the silver today directional movement crossing over for a sell stochastic rising from the bottom MACD is in green rsi looking downwards likewise if you see on the three hour charts on the three hour charts too it is shown you a good swing higher highs lower lows and the pivot here is 2110 levels beyond which you can expect little more bullishness there also one must not forget it is respecting the channel and hence below 21 dollars yes a little more bearishness can be expected but then 2095 2090 should be a very good support and below that you can expect 2080 as the major major support directional movement trying to converge a stock i stick rising from the bottom there MACD is in green, RSI trading flat and if you look at the 4 hour chart, similar similar is the observation what we saw but another point of view is look at the highs and the lows the pivot here at 21.10 beyond that certainly it will show you a little more bullishness beyond that we may see it rising however if you look the, at the larger perspective you will find 21.40, 21.30 zone is certainly very very good resistance stochastic dropping there, the MACD is in green the RSI is flat and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts here previous two cat were of swing you can find out bulls fail to take the charge bears fail to take the charge and almost both the candles traded in a zone there but also it has created a channel and if you find this channel you'll find 2090 definitely giving it a very very good support and with the support at 2090 today we can expect it to rise again how far it can go 2130 2140 level should be very good resistance for the day directional movement is divergent and bullish stochastic was oversold trying to rise the MACD is trading with a crossover and trading bearish here RSI is trading flat considering this you can uh, sell at 2095 expect 2090 20 80 levels to be a very good support there only below 2018 it will kick for little more bearishness and then you can expect 2060 2050 levels till that time it trades about 2095 do not sell silver at the same time on the upside 2115 you can buy at 2115 expect 21 20 21 30 and then 21 40 as the targets trade accordingly do not take a position between 2095 and 2115 levels 
ट्रेड विद स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेड विद ट्रेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन थैंक यू वेरी मच है ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग डे थैंक